my name is Sean McNeil. This is my project for Mr. Capoletti's Social Studies class. This project is about the French, English, Spanish, and etc. The French were fur traders who wanted to make peace with the Indians and trade with them. The Spanish were conquistadors that wanted the three Gs. I think they wanted gold the most, so they took out the Incas, Aztecs, Mayans, and many other Indians. The English wanted the three Gs also, but they tried finding gold and they could eventually not find it, so they used tobacco as their crack and their cash crop. King James gave the English charters which said that they could settle in the New World and most of these charters were for joint stock companies but some were for other things too. A joint stock company is a company that is held by tons of stockholders who invested in the company. There was also investors. Investors were a person who associated with the capital with an exp expectation of financial return. The Virginia London Company was a company that was a joint stock company that got their money from investors. Their plan was that people would come and find gold and run into the fur trade. Natural resources was what the English were looking for, like soil. Some other natural resources, wood, oil, fish, flowers, oxygen, and etc. were also there. A royal colony is a colony that is not the same country as the country the people are from, but they do have to follow the rules of the king and queen of the original country. The Northwest Patches is the not real thing. It was a English and French all water route through North America, but the English and French would never find it over a hundred years span. Jamestown was the first permanent English colony. It did almost not survive because of the harsh winter. They would have not survived without John Ralph who made everyone work. John Ralph was the first man to be credited for the first successful tobacco farm. He was the second mayor of Jamestown. Without him, Jamestown would never have survived. He helped them through the starving time. Cash crops are crops that bring in money. Some things that were cash crops were tobacco, cotton, sunflowers, and etc. They were usually grew on plantations. Roanoke was the first English settlement in the New World. It did not survive because of the Indians and the harsh winters. They tried a second attempt, but later they would find out that they had all disappeared and it was very mysterious. Then there was plantation system, was a system where they grew cash crops like rice, tobacco, sugar, cotton, and etc. They were a major part of the slave trade. They used slaves to work for them. The House of Burgesses was built by the Virginia Company of London. It was the first building that was made so that the English could discuss their rules. There, this was where the first sign of government in the New World came from. Pilgrims were separatists who came to the New World to get away from the new religion of England. They came to make their own rules and follow their church beliefs. The Mayflower Compact was the first written sign of government. It was a list of rules of some of the 44 men that were picked to represent the others. The first Thanksgiving was with the Pilgrims and the Native Americans, which without the Native Americans, the Pilgrims would have never survived. The Native Americans showed the Pilgrims the three sisters, corns, squash, and beans. And thank you for watching my project and I hope yours is as good.